Hi guys, welcome back to another video on Angular 17. This is the fifth part of this tutorial series. In this part, I'll be talking about structured directive. As you can see that I've already created an empty Angular 17 project with the name structured directive. And in this video, I'll be talking about conditional statements and that includes if else, for loops, switch cases. These concepts were also part of the previous versions of Angular. Since I'm making this tutorial series for absolute beginners, so I need to cover up each and everything thing which were part of the previous versions of angular as well so there is another control flow which is newly added in this version of angular 17 i will talk about new control flow in the next video so let's get started this is an empty component which is created by default when we create a new angular 17 project and this is the components html file so first of all you can see that i'm running my project and it has this title and it has this value and I'm outputting the value of this variable in this HTML and the value is going to be printed on this browser page on localhost colon 4200 because I'm running my project locally. So let's first talk about ng if directive. So here in this component, I will be creating couple of variables in order to show you how the ng if directive works. So let's call it is logged in the name of the first variable boolean equals to false and I'm going to create another variable username of type string and I'm going to write Omer inside. All right. So now let's use this variable in our HTML file. So here, first of all, I'm going to create a div and inside this div, I'm going to write welcome username. Let's verify if it prints. Let's uh, refresh and let's save this file again. Yes, you can see that welcome Omer is being printed and I'm going to comment the first line so that it is clear to us. All right. So now what if I want to add a check whether I want to show this message or not? Okay. And without changing any value inside this variable. So here I'm going to change this div and add ng if with the static before equals to and the variable name inside this double quotes. All right. So let's save it. It is throwing an error. The reason is that we need to import something that is called ngf. So I'm going to write from angular common and here it will give us ngf and I'm going to copy ngf these kinds of imports were not added in the previous versions of angular this is something we need to do only in this version so now i'm going to save it you can see that error is gone and now if i navigate to the browser you can see that nothing is being printed the reason is that is logged in variable is false and when it is false here it is being applied and this is getting hidden because is logged in is false means Everything that is inside this particular div is depending upon this Boolean variable. If this is false, then the whole div is not going to be shown on the browser. And if we make it true, then this is going to get shown up. So let's make it true. And now I'm going to navigate. You can see that it is getting visible and uh, this is something we can do over here and we can add multiple checks as well. So just like the if conditions in our TypeScript or any other languages, if you have some experience, we can have a not operator. So let's add this one. Let's bring it back to false. And I'm going to change its message. So if user is not logged in, this is what I have checked. Then I'm going to show this particular message that please log in. Let's save it. And now you can see that this particular variable is false and this false variable is 
hiding this particular message because of this nj if and this false is having the not operator before this and not is making this false to true and when this is going to get true the whole div is going to get visible so this is going to be printed so it's like the not false not false means true because the value of this variable is false okay now i'm going to copy this particular div and i'm going to show you let's use uh, is logged in and i can have another variable after that so let's see uh, check boolean equals to true and here i can write and operator or or operator over here it is just like the mathematical operator so whenever there is an and and I'm going to write check let's save it uh, let's let's change the message so that it is clear to you so logged in all right so if user is logged in and the check is true if both the variables are true then this is going to get printed logged in you can see that it is not getting printed because one of the variable is false you can see over here and if i change it to or then only one variable has to be true and it is only going to be hidden when all the variables currently only two variables are added when all the variables are going to get false then this is going to get hidden now you can see that it is showing logged in because there is an or operator and this is false but this is true so we can use these operators as much as we want we can have 10 variables having these operators and an or operator between these all right so now i'm going to talk about else statement directly within ng if directive so i'm going to come down and i'm going to add another div and inside this div i'm going to write welcome back let's add the username let's see if it gets printed yes you can see that it is getting printed and here inside this div i'm going to write steric ng if uh, equals to inside this i'm going to write is logged in now it is going to get hidden because is logged in is false if is logged in is true then print this if this is false then go to the else statement so i'm going to write any variable over here all right if i save it you will see that it is going to throw an error because it is finding this particular element in this file so i'm going to create that element and i'm going to write ng template this is what it is referring to please log in and we can we we know that uh, this message is similar to this and if user is uh, logged out then we are going to print this message you can write anything uh, you want over here but here in this particular attribute i'm going to write hash and i'm going to paste the same variable which i have written above so let's save it now you can see that error is gone now if this variable value is false then this is going to navigate to this else statement so now if i navigate you can see that this is going to get printed please logged in because uh, this is where it is getting printed and now if i make it true you will see that this is going to get printed but this is not going to get printed because else statement will not be triggered because is logged in is getting true so let's make it true for now so i have made it true now you can see that the message is changed welcome back umair so i hope that you have got an understanding about ng if directive adding operators having else statement block along with this ng if variable value over here so now let's talk about ng for to iterate through multiple elements using the same html element and for that i'm going to create an array over here and i'm going to iterate through each an element of an array in this particular html file
so in this component i'm going to create an array and this is going to be the names let's say and the type of this name is string of an array and uh, here i can write omer let's add david john so let's keep it to three and i'm going to go to the html file and here i'm going to write ul unordered list li and here i'm going to write the value of that this is going to be the name and now you might be curious that the variable name does not exist in our component it is uh, this is going to be the names okay so this is names uh, but we have to add name over here i'm going to iterate through all the values of the array which is named as names so i'm going to write steric ng4 equals to and i'm going to write let name and this name is being used over here okay so name of names like this all right so now let's save it and it is going to throw an error again so i'm going to come over here just like i imported ng if i'm going to write ng4 and i'm going to copy paste it inside this imports array all right so now as i save these files this is going to get shown up over here now you can see that all the values of that array are being iterated through again and again and if i show you that by inspecting it let's inspect this you will see that it has created three li elements in the dom of this browser even though we added this li only one time so what this ng4 does is it recreates the element in which the ng4 is being applied as much time as the number of values exist in the array which is being added over here all right so we can get the index of this that which index this particular value exists so i can write this semicolon and i can create a new variable i can name anything but after equals to it has to be index so this index is being stored in this variable i so let's try to print i after this and see what it prints so i'm going to save this and now you will see that it has printed 0 1 2 and it is showing the index of each value that uh, at which index of an array that value were existing so this is quite uh, beneficial when we try to uh, get the index um, in order to edit any particular item or delete any particular item this is where this is very helpful all right so that's pretty much it for ng4 directive i will come back to these particular things again in my upcoming videos and i'll try to build small projects for you guys for now that's pretty much it for you guys to grab and understand these concepts after this i will be talking about ng switch statements if you have some experience about uh, ng switch statements in java c sharp or any other languages it is pretty simple only the syntax is different so first of all i will come back to this thing and i'm going to add those over here so here i'm going to write ng switch and after this i'm going to write ng switch case and ng switch default all right so let's try to copy this and paste the three things over here all right so here first of all i'm going to add a new variable let's say grade of type string and the grade is c okay so i'm going to come over here this is just like uh, if else statements if if else so if this is true then print this else if this condition is true then print that so first of all i'm going to uh, start off with a div let's see this div and inside it i'm going to write p tag and this is going to be the excellent 
and I'm going to add another p tag good and another p tag and this is going to be the unknown all right currently you will see that it is going to print all these three values over here now based upon the value of this grade i want to add a check that if the value of the grade is c then uh what we can do is we can uh print let's add another one a uh, bad if it is c then i'm going to print bad if the value of that grade is B, then I'm going to print good. If A is, is going to be the excellent. So inside this div, I'm going to write ng switch. And after this, I'm going to add the value of that variable, the variable name actually, not the value. So this grade is going to give us different values. Currently it is C. So I'm going to add checks over here that if the value of this grade is equals to A, so I can write steric ng switch case equals to double quotes. And inside the double quotes, I'm going to add the single quote and I'm going to add A. So let's copy all of these things and add a space after this and I'm going to change it to B I'm going to change it to C so let's see what it prints it should print bad because this grade value is equals to C and it is not going to print any other value currently we have not added check over here so that's why it will be printed uh, directly without having any condition so you can see that it has printed bad and unknown so now let's say that if any of these values did not exist inside this variable, it is not A, B or C, then I'm going to print unknown after this. So I can add steric ng switch default. That's it. And now I'm going to add this. Now you can see that it has printed bad because one of the values above this default statement got true because grade value is C. Now let's change it to D over here. So now I'm going to save this file. Now it is not A, B or C and it is not, uh, we have not added any other value for D as well, but it is going to leave all of these three statements and it is going to come to this P element so let's see you can see that it has printed unknown because none of the above three values got uh, coming up uh, from this grade variable even though it is d over here all right so this is how we can add different uh, checks and this is just like the if statements and it is more convenient when we have the fixed number of values we know that these five six values are fixed and we can use switch cases and if there are unlimited number of uh, values or if we need to add some conditions like the and or uh, uh, operators within these or if we want to add this not operator or we can have the greater than less than or equal to operators as well uh, so let's say that we can have the equals to false over here or if the variable a equals to two uh, if you have some experience in javascript uh, then you must know that what these things are uh, like greater than less than greater than equal to less than equals to this is what we can add if but here in the switch cases uh, the exact value needs to be added we cannot add the greater than less than or any such kind of range within the switch cases all right so for this video that's pretty much it if you have liked my video do subscribe my channel uh, and like this video as well i'm going to talk about the new control flow added in angular 17 in my next video so stay tuned i'll uh, see you in the next video thank you so much for watching guys